Hello again and welcome to another video guide about painting plastic models. I continue my work on German Messerschmitt BF109. Here is one good tip, yellow color usually has very bad coverage properties, so I spray the base coat with a white color first. As you can see, it is not a problem to use different types of colors. Most of them have very similar characteristics. For example, Tamiya has just a few shades and you must mix the rest by yourself, as you had seen in my previous videos. If you want to ask me for the precise ratio of each color, I can really give you an unsatisfying answer, because I do not know it. I simply mix different colors until I like the resulting shade. Some manufacturers like AK try to make painting as easy as possible and produce exact shades for aircraft camouflages. These colors have elastic consistency, they create a nice consistent layer and they are odorless too. However, never let the paint dry in your airbrush. You must clean the airbrush with pure water and thinner as soon as you finished using it. Even if AK colors are made exactly for airbrush, from my point of view they still have quite thick consistency. I rather add thinner. To create these small patches, I recommend settings very low pressure, 0.5 bars or 7.25 C. It should be enough. Painting dries more slowly than Tamiya, and it would spill with a high pressure. Now comes the post shading. I mix the darker shade from RLM 76 and 75. The color is dry up after a few minutes. I mask the green coat with a masking tape and then I spray it with a dark grey RLM 75.
I like shadings, so I paint some nice highlights with a light grey RLM76. It is not a problem to use also another paint brands for shading. Here is the finished surface after shading. I spray the model with very durable clear varnish before applying washes and water slide decals. Another good tip, German Cross on the water slide decal sheet has a lot of lacquer around, which we do not need. I recommend cut it across to four pieces, it will look much better on the model. If you are used to painting with acrylic paints like Vallejo or Citadel, then AKR colors are very similar and you can use a brush without problems too. I spray the model with two layers of clear varnish. When it dries up, I smooth the surface with very fine sandpaper. Maybe you think that model is almost finished, but it is not true. I still need to add weathering effects. You can see it in my next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.